to my youtube channel my name is gitogu i'm a nigerian youtuber living in alberta canada and if this is your first time watching any of my videos don't forget to hit the subscribe <laughs> career lifestyle freelancing and vibes and in this video i am going to be telling you guys what i would do if i want to get started as a freelancer or as someone working remotely um, if I want to just get started, I'm a young person, maybe young Nigerian or young person generally. I want to get started as a remote worker. I want to start working from home. I want to start working online for foreign companies. I want to start freelancing. Here's what I'll do and that's what I'll tell you about. I'm the best person to talk to you about this particular topic because... I started freelancing in 2019, before the pandemic. Most people started freelancing working remotely during the pandemic. I started in 2019 after my national youth service. I started on Fiverr. I opened Fiverr in April and got my first client in four days. I opened Upwork in 2020. I got my, my first client in that same day in a couple of hours. I got my first client in a couple of hours. I gained success on Upwork. I got featured on Upwork as a talent spotlight. That means Upwork posted me in 2021 as a talent spotlight. They posted me with their, on their LinkedIn that has over 2 million followers, on their Instagram, on their Facebook. Aside from that, I also became top rated on Upwork. And because I was not consistent on the platform, because I had like a full-time job, I was also freelancing on Fiverr, I also have clients on the platform. I made over $10,000 on the platform alone. Combine it with my full-time job that I had, working on Fiverr and the referrals that I was doing. I am the best person to talk to you about this. I've seen a lot of content online um, regarding oh, how to make money online and all of that. Um, and I know that they're actually like very useful and all of that. But from the deepest part of my mind, I am telling you, like my younger sister or my younger brother, what you have to do if you want to get started as a freelancer or working remotely without any experience. Like you need to take my tips, my tricks, they've worked for me. The first things first, you need to have experience. And I know that this is like, oh, like getting started with no experience, but you need, to, you need to have experience because how else will you show these clients that you know what you're doing without experience? So now let me tell you how to get this experience. You need to figure out the skill that you want to offer. I had someone DM me on Instagram telling me all the numerous things that she's into, data processing, data, data what's it called? writing marketing um data processing data it's just into everything and she's like oh what does she what does she need to do you need to focus on one or two skills that you'd like to offer on this freelancing platform so you need to sit down and think about it don't do things because everybody is doing it i can see a lot of people are going into the virtual assistant space which is not a problem i have no problem with it but make sure that it's something that you want to do and not because you're seeing everybody on tiktok or on twitter talking about being a virtual assistant and that's exactly what you want to do make sure that you have like a particular skill that you want to offer or figure out the skill that you want to offer you can go online and google what are the top skills that you want to offer if you are interested in the particular sector maybe tech or marketing go online and google what are the top marketing skills someone needs to have in like 2024 so you look at it look at this list and when you have this list you start looking at what resonates with you better instead of just diving into something because everybody's doing it if you feel that you're more interested in seo fine like focus on that okay as you're writing focus on that if you think that you love social media so much and you're really interested in social media social media management how to grow a brand page how to be how to create an engaging social media page focus on that like find what you're actually passionate about and focus on it if you're into tech or you want to go into tech and you've checked the list of everything that you've done or every tech skill that they have there look for the one that resonates with you more let me tell you a little bit of story in my third year in university i got um, an opportunity to get to intern at stambic IPTC bank in um, victoria island which i actually interned there i interned in the risk management department i had such a great time working as an operational risk analyst list there before I went back to uni for my final year. If I wanted to go into tech, 
after that internship, I was going to go into cybersecurity because it's quite linked to risk management. It is very aligned with risk management. So think about like, you know, the skills that you actually have. And if you want to go into tech or marketing or anything that will make you offer your skills online, look for the one that closely aligns with something that you're doing or something or something that closely aligns with what you want to do. So for me, when I was in the internship, if I wanted to go into tech, I was going to go straight into cybersecurity because it actually aligns with what I am, um, what I was doing or it aligns with what I did in that internship and all of that. But um, I'm not into cybersecurity, I'm in marketing. I'm just giving you guys like an idea. There are so many skills that you have to offer. Don't do social media. Don't go, sorry, don't go to social media and say, oh, I want to offer this because everybody is offering this. Don't do that. Make sure that the skill that you're actually trying to offer is exactly what like you are interested in interest is very important and that leads me to my next point when you figure out the skill that you want to offer learning you have to go and learn go and learn what are you actually interested in cyber security what are you interested in content marketing what are you interested in search engine optimization search engine marketing what are you interested in i'm interested in advertising i'm inter interested in content creation whatever it is that you are interested in you need to get the skill so you go online and check for courses you don't have to do a paid course there are a lot of free courses that you can actually do regarding tech or marketing or any other skill that you are interested in and if you if you want to go into marketing i recommend coursera i recommend coursera's content marketing course but to get started i would recommend that you do the google found the google foundation of digital marketing course i feel that that will really really help you out it's very very the next thing you have to do is to use the skills, okay? I know you don't have any experience, you don't have anywhere to use these skills, you don't have like, I, I understand what you're saying, but let me tell you something, there's a way to get started, there's a way to work around this. Okay, let's say now you've gotten started, like you want to do content marketing, you want to do SEO writing, SEO marketing and all of that, you've learned, you've taken a course on uh, maybe Coursera or Udemy or SEMrush, any other online platform that offers education online, you've taken it, you've even paid for it. It's time to put what you've learned into practice. Open the damn blog. Open a, it's free on Blogger. It is free on WordPress. Open this blog and get started. Use your skill. That SEO skill that you've learned, use it to start writing immediately. Use it to start writing. My younger sister did a course on Google, I think for digital marketing. She's currently in uni in her first year. And what I did for her to give her work experience was to hire her to write for my blog. So every month, instead of giving her money every month, like for free, you know how like you give your siblings in school money? I told her that you have to be writing for my blog. That way she has a byline, she's building her portfolio and she's getting paid for it. So you can either follow this method. I mean, I'm not hiring, don't come and DM me to, <laughs> you know, don't come and DM me to, you want to write for me and all of that. I'm not hiring, like my sister is enough for me right now and I'm also helping her build her portfolio. But what you can do is open your own blog, WordPress blogger, you can open the blog for free. It's free of chat. Write your lame article, as bad as it is, write your badly written article. One thing I've learned regarding writing, creating anything, is the more you write, the more you become better at it. If you want to do social media, you want to be a social media manager, social media content marketer, open a social media platform. Yes, open a social media page. When I was like, you know, actively like job hunting and all of that, because I've grown my social media, I usually use my social media as a, as my portfolio. So I'm like, oh, when they ask, oh, can you, have you done social media before? I'm going to be like, yes, I have. I've done for brands. I'll tell you, oh, I worked with so-so and so brand in the US. I grew their Pinterest from 720 to 32,000. Their Instagram from this to this. I've worked with this brand. I grew this to this. I have also put this in practice in my own brand. For me, I grew my TikTok, which was 155 followers, to over 2,700 followers now. And my, my YouTube, too, is now like 2,000 plus followers. I have like 130,000. So you mentioned these things. How will you get started if you do not even do it for yourself? If you do not even have a portfolio, why are they hiring you? Okay, you've not been able to get a job. What about doing it for yourself? What about doing it for yourself? What about that your sister that has like a a, a, um, a page, no, not a page, that has like a business where she's selling bra and pants on WhatsApp. 
What about you tell your sister that, oh, let me help you do social media. You want to be a social media manager. You want to be a social media content creator, whatever it is, for a particular brand. You want to start earning in dollars or naira or whatever currency that you will get paid in. What about getting started? You tell your sister, my dear, I just learned this course now. Please, can I use your brand to like, do so can I do social media? Can you like send me these pictures? Can I create social media content for you? Can I manage your page? Can I create a page and manage this? You have to work hard to have a portfolio it is too important when you want to get started in tech when i was actually trying to learn um product ownership before i decided to stick to marketing i'll still probably go back to product ownership later on i started building an app to learn jira because jira is an important tool in product in, in product ownership and in, in project management to learn Jira, I've never used that app before and I wanted to use it. I created a dummy app. Like I had a team, a scrum team, assigned tax to, um, tax to them. That's how I learned how to use the app because I got my hands dirty. You need to be willing to get your hands dirty. Like don't be lazy. What is not going to fall on your lap, okay? You have to be willing to get your hands dirty. I got my hands dirty. I learned how to use the app, Jira. And even though in where I work, we actually use Asana, not Jira, but I to use jira if we are using you know if we're using jira if somebody needs somebody with jira skills and all of that i can use jira because i learned this i learned it myself i was intentional about learning a particular skill i wanted to learn how to be a product owner and that entailed me learning how to use the jira software instead of saying oh i don't have anything that i'll use the software for i built i created a dummy app a dummy app and built a scrum team so that i could use jira to practice you know i could use that that dummy app I could, I could use the um i could use it i could use my jira to get to practice what i've learned do you understand you need to be proactive i feel that most young people like you just want the money to fall on your laps first you have to put in the work you need to learn these skills you need to put the skill into practice to have a, a portfolio to have experience the experience does not have to be paid you need to be like, oh i have bylines i i can send you links to the articles that i've written it might be a WordPress blog. It might be at blogger.blogspots.com. It doesn't matter. Don't even see your willingness. You're like, oh, I'm a content writer. I, I, I'm a content writer. I got started with this skill not long ago. And I even created a blog to write just to, you know, learn how to write more, like gain more experience and all of that. Do you understand? So, yes, go and create. Go and create that portfolio. Like, gathering experience here and there, doing what you're doing share share open your mouth and share post it post your journey i saw a lady particular lady on on um, tiktok she's learning how to be a virtual assistant she's posting her journey post the damn thing 30 days of data science learning 30 days of content writing 30 days of content marketing go and let like post it show you're working and you can even get clients from there okay you can actually get clients from there when you're done posting, the next thing that you will start doing is start applying for opportunities. Don't be waiting. Don't wait till you have like one year of experience. No, as far as you've created that portfolio, you started getting that work experience. Get into the field. Go and start applying for these opportunities. Go to LinkedIn. People actually underestimate the importance of LinkedIn. I got my last job before I moved to the UK, which was working in an ad agency in the US. I was working as a lead ad strategist with Array. It was remote. I got that job on LinkedIn and I did not apply to that job. They reached out to me on LinkedIn because I actually asked my boss how she found me. And she said she found me on LinkedIn because of the keywords. My LinkedIn profile is not optimized anymore. Don't go, like, don't go there. Because I moved to the UK and I had to face my studies and all of that. My profile is not op optimized anymore. But then it used to be optimized. It actually used to be optimized. So you would find me when you're looking for people in marketing, advertising, influencer marketing. So she found me on, on, with the influencer marketing tag. Go to LinkedIn, optimize your LinkedIn. You'll be posting there. I know it's cringe, but all those your family members and friends and all of that, are they going to pay your bills? Are they going to pay your bills? I have family members and friends that will probably see me on social media and they're like, mm, you're talking too much. You're always posting on social media. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. my mom actually like comments she, she opened tiktok because of me to comment on my tiktok post she comments on my social media post on my on my youtube channel and all of that like i have supportive family basically they'll watch everything that i've put out as content 
if your friends find you cringe use the block button block them okay block them and be posting what you're posting you're not posting for them you're posting for your future employer your future client to see what you have actually done you're not actually posting for them okay so please please and please Anybody that's going to be like, oh yeah, she are talking too much, you're sharing too much, is giving cringe block. Block it, block it, block. Or create a whole new page where you don't have family and friends and start posting, okay? I'm not saying be doing content every day. Just like share what you're actually working on. Share what you're actually working on. Is the importance of opening your mouth. Let people know what you what you're actually doing. Most times when I when I wanted to go and learn driving, I went back to we traveled to Nigeria. I traveled to Nigeria in um January. And when I went there, I went to learn driving because my, my husband wanted me to learn how to drive. So I had to go and learn driving. The person that came to my mind was this guy that has a driving school in my church. Not because he has a driving school in my church, he came to my mind because he was always posting about that on Facebook. He's always posting about his driving school on Facebook. So you will know. So he was the one that was in my I didn't even like I just had him in mind like oh I'm going to I'm going to use this person immediately a lot of people like when it has to do with me like doing and shopping and all of that like I, I, I try to look at my contacts who is actually like consistently posting about their business if I need somebody that offers your skill I would definitely reach out to you why I'm saying the importance of like opening your mouth and blowing your own trumpet is because I've been very privileged to have referrals when I was still in the UK and all of that. Even this job that this current um, current freelancing job that I'm currently doing now, this um, current um, ebook that I'm I'm currently writing now for a particular client that I was paid like you know I was paid handsomely, very very well, and not in naira. It's a lot of money. Don't even I don't even want to say how much it is. It was referral and the person that i'm actually writing this book for she's actually really pleased with my work and she's telling me that she has told her friend who wants to write a book about me and her friend is going to reach out to me there's one that actually reached out to me last year it was a referral it was also an e -book because i will always talk about the skills that i offer on these freelancing platforms i will post my reviews online i will post it on whatsapp i will talk about it when you're thinking of a writer a good writer when you remember first of all when you're thinking of a, a good writer you remember me when you're looking for an expensive writer a writer that would charge you an arm and a leg because my, my price is very high it's very very high do you understand when you when you remember oh a client i'm looking for like a very good writer and all that i'm willing to pay any amount you remember you bring the person to me you remember me and bring me the client because i am always talking about it i will post my reviews i will always talk about it i will share what i'm doing so people will have me in mind when they're looking for a very good writer or someone that is very good in marketing so why are you keeping quiet you're learning how to do data science and all of that you're shutting up open your mouth and talk please Open your mouth and talk. Anybody that finds you cringe should give you a job then. They don't give you a job so that you will stop posting online. Mm? If they're not willing to give you a job, please open your mouth and post the damn content. Like, what, what? the next thing is joining these platforms. There are a whole lot of platforms. Upwork, I'm an Upwork fan girl because when I stayed there, like when I was on Upwork, it actually worked well for me. But then I got the most of my clients based on referrals and people reaching out to me. On LinkedIn, LinkedIn really, really helps my life. It helped me extraordinarily well. So I got most of my clients on LinkedIn, and then I was also working full time, so I could not commit to Upwork full time. However, I was still making a substantial amount of money. You know what it means to be making money in 2021. The amount of money that I had when I was in Nigeria, I used it to travel abroad. To travel abroad myself even i had a little bit of help from family and all of that i was actually a self-funded student moving from nigeria to the uk at the age of 25 alone 25 years i was living in my own apartment i was making money in dollars i was a leader strategist all thanks to freelancing all thanks to working remotely all thanks to putting myself out there so what what why are you not why are you not on these platforms why are you not on this plan i don't understand like what are you ashamed of why are you not on this platform? Open all of them. Fiverr, Upwork, any other one that is available now. Open the damn thing. Don't go and be meeting people that will tell you go on there. Or if you don't, you can't even near me. One there are one word. You will not near me now. You know already. It's not me. <laughs> okay? You will not even meet me for 10 naira for one. I will not be participating in that level of madness. I will not be doing that. Okay? But then, 
get on these platforms have that portfolio get on these platforms what are you waiting for get on these platforms let me tell you when i moved to the uk nearly before i started working in the uk i was paying my rent my bills and all of that with my dollar card because i came to the uk with dollars dollars that i made from freelancing dollars that i made from working remotely as a nigerian in nigeria you can't do it you can't do it okay but then it's not it's not like it's not easy you have to like put in the work join all of these platforms upwork fiverr all of them go to linkedin go and be posting cringe post post the damn content if it's cringe post it post it on tiktok post a post what post what your clients are saying when they give you a review post what they are doing post what your clients are saying about your work post the damn reviews okay Reach out to companies, go and code email companies, okay? Go and code email them. Say you want to start as an intern, okay? Reach out, okay? Reach out, reach out, reach out. Reach out, please. So, yeah, um, that's how a remote job or get started as a freelancer with no experience. Um, I know that I've been shouting and shouting and shouting. I'm just, I just want you guys to be proactive i want you guys to like go out and do all i want you guys to go out and kill it okay if you like more remote jobs and freelancing content let me know i do enjoy creating this kind of content so if you if it's what you like to see let me know and what kind of content again you would like to see thank you so much for watching my videos i wish you good luck in everything that you're doing don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on tiktok at giftable so like come your way again next time you could be nice to your neighbors and good luck in your freelancing and neighbors bye